it's just for a mind up. I, of course, have to check the walls. Just to make sure. Since I can't use Peeping Eye underwater, I might have missed a room, in all honesty. It really depends. But now, who's ready for the arena? There's the Beam Skeleton. Another Gargoyle. I believe that was meant... Uh, that was probably called, like, Killer Mantle or something. My brain does not remember all enemies off the top of its head, but it does help when the enemy's name, you know, pops up. So, out of the souls that I hope for... I'm... I really want a few. Namely, the Killer Man. If I didn't grab the Golem Soul, uh, the Killer Mantle is how you make it so easy. But of course, before I start to grind for this area, I'm going to need, well, either that or... If I'm lucky enough, I can find a safe... I can find a save room. A safe room. This isn't one for Dad. Nope. Ah, Claim Soleil. Where would I be without you? Probably dead. at all, ever since playing through, uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Thankfully, I'm in good health right now. But here we have the Minotaur's brother, the Red Minotaur. I have not switched off my, uh, Luck increasing item didn't uh, our equipment. Yep. Okay, you're not three hits. Okay, you're five. Okay, there's Levaden. Or Levitane. So if you wanted a fire up weapon, there you go. But we have the Claim Soleil. Every other weapon is pretty much not needed. Genuinely, it, it's so good that almost every other weapon isn't really needed. And since most enemies are either weak to light or different to it. There's no real point in going, well, this enemy takes a bit more damage. And Dead Crusader Soul, one less thing to grind for. I do want to make my way back to the entrance. And, ah, uh, what room was it in? I think it was... Okay, no, I can clearly see where it is on Oh. I went to the wrong room. Reload. There we go. 
Much like the spider ball, the controls for that are very particular about how they want to be used. Yep, we're, we're definitely at the point in the game where I don't really have to worry about much. Hey, that woman back there. Is she okay? I don't know. He's been wounded pretty badly. The medicine I have won't help much. Hope she'll be alright. Yeah, me too. Know why I say that? Because she's my type. Well, I got a business to run. What would you like? Once again, I'm here to sell to you. Uh, two mistletane, which definitely helps. Look how much the claim Soleil sells for. It's amazing. Also, I might have been off with the amount of money it was to buy the soul ring. And just, you know, misread it. Okay, we got enough Crimson Cloaks. Hey, bye. But there's Ascon. Nope, I was right. 300,000 for it. And, yeah, aside from it be, being slightly more damaging than the Claim Soleil, the Ascalon is pretty much working worse in every other way, including its range. Like, actually, its damage is worse than the Claim Soleil. It just increases our strength a slight bit more. Okay. Oh, Soma. I wonder if Yoko will be alright. You know Yoko? Yes, she's been coming to my house since I was very young. Because I'm an only child. She's been like a big sister to me. I see. Did Arakado bring her here? Yes, he did. Then I'm sure she's okay. He said not to worry about her. He was confident he could save her. That's why he brought her here. If you say that she'll be fine, I believe you. I know this is tough for you, but hang in there. Okay, leave it to me. No hint this time, just someone wanting to make sure everyone's going to be safe. And okay. For now, we have a soul to collect. And nothing that can stop us. Oh, oh, it's so good. Plus, with the claim slowly adding to our defense, we pretty much have nothing to worry about. Make way, make way, I'm on a mission. Ah, uh, I remember grinding here. It was long and boring. My nostalgia for certain portions of the game are very intriguing. Oh yeah, the headhunter's room's been ransacked. Ow. After getting hit by a Durga. Time for another mini grind. 
this time. Damn. Ah, I missed it. It's for the Chrono Mage, so. Yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult to get. difficulty is the Chrono Mage is completely unscathed by attacks until the time wars. There we go. Chrono Mage obtained. Which means we can now uh, go after that light in the underground waterway. And we can explore the rest of this half of the castle. Because we never actually finished the private quarters. Here, Lord, do I hope that's the name of this area. Because I can't remember the names, and they only appear both once. I think this has to be the last segment of it. Yep, Archdemon and the Danesley. As well as Ancient Book 2. So, the Danesley. Ultimate Magic Sword. Not really. Uh, once again, outdone by many other things, like the Ascalon. And the Claim Soleil. By far the Claim Soleil. And all I have to really say is. The Ascalon is kind of a mini Claim Soleil. Sorry about that, I had to double check uh, my way out. And then I realized I haven't read Ancient Book 2 yet. The second spirit is the King of Bats. Well, if anybody hasn't figured it out, that's telling us something. A special combination of souls. What exactly will come of it? Ah, uh, who knows. I mean, I know. But can't really tell you without giving away something really good. So, now we're going to make our way back. And... I'm really considering whether or not to you know, head all the way back. Okay, we need... Oh, not Gremlin. We need Undyne, and then... We can switch back to people. Honestly, I don't really need it on at all times. But I like to think of this as adding a bit of challenge. Since by having the keeping eye soul I'm effectively hindering myself slightly. Ooh, that's a thing. I have. Okay. Need to make sure that I got the Persephone soul. Just, just making sure. Uh, we never did find a teleport room in that section of the map. So our closest teleport to both the uh, underground cemetery and the underground waterway is, well, through the arena. Which I now return to. Nah. I was considering keeping the Gremlin Soul on. Just so that, you know, as I go through killing everything. 
I just don't have to worry. I partially feel like I got the claims delay a little early. And now we have the rare tiger. Oh, so many souls, so little time. Oh, there was a way up. I missed it. Up. Oh, no. I think I know what that is. I think I know what that is. And I should not go in there. And it's annoying because... Oh, if I do go in there... It's for a specific soul. A few specific souls that are only found in that micro section of the map. It's going to get on my nerves because of how that area works. Oh, but I might have to go down that way. No, I can... I can... No, wait. I was about to say, I can head through without any problems to get into the room above me, but I can't. It's not an option. Okay, save once again. And you know what? That's where I'm going to call it for today's recording session. Did a whole hell of a ton of grinding. Not much, you know, going through the game. But eh, you really need that level grinding. Otherwise, well, level 54 would not be where I'd, I'm at right now. And we're actually getting very, very close to the end. Since the map rate basically tells you how close to finishing the game you are. Anyway... Thank you all for coming down to my neck of the woods. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this segment of Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Do have a great rest of your day. I had to decide whether to say great or excellent. Farewell. <laughs>